Desperate for views, this man discovers one weird trick to going viral. Meet Kurt of the not-so-famous Kurt's World. Wait a second. Anyway, he's an aspiring influencer, and through the lens of his live streams and videos, we learn a little bit about him. He's a gamer. Playboy. That's where all the magic happens. <laughs> and was a babysitter to the now-famous Bobby Basecamp. They're good friends to this day. Do not double dip my stream. Kurt's latest thing is being a spree driver, which he adds is a great source of content. Though, despite posting for over 10 years, Kurt's views and engagement have rarely ever hit double digits. But that's about to change with something he calls the lesson. On April 12th, 2019, Kurt finally went viral. He bids his mom farewell, then begins his journey. What is up gamers? Today we're live streaming my spree rides. First things first, make sure you got your rig in check. Yeah, so this dude's got the charisma of a rock. We meet our first passenger of the day, Frederick, who quickly grows curious about the cameras. Um, why are there cameras everywhere? Oh, that's just for my safety. Wink, wink. Frederick shares that he's heading to give a speech to over 3,000 people, which catches Kurt by surprise. Whoa, 3,000 eyes on you? The info quickly excites him, who lets slip that he's actually streaming to a few followers himself. In actuality, it's just Bobby watching along for a laugh. Frederick begins to troll the stream by letting loose a variety of questionable beliefs about race. Before he can drop the crime statistics, Bobby chimes in once again. We cut to a few clips of Bobby's videos while Kurt explains who he is. What's up guys, I'm out here on my influencer bullshit. Yeah, that about sums it up. Kurt's behavior becomes a bit adventurous as he drives past two stop signs. Frederick seems to enjoy it. You know what? For a snowflake, you ain't too bad. He then enjoys a refreshing sip of water, but it hits different. You're not gonna make it. <coughs> we cut to a very suspicious tutorial that Kurt recorded. Hey guys, today we're gonna be learning how to discreetly spice up your water. All it takes is a few drops, then you just dab it up with some hot glue and you're all set. And Frederick's dead. It's perfect. One down, lots more to go. Let's go, stream. Yeah, it's still just Bobby watching. Kurt picks up his next passenger and she quickly follows the same fate. Okay, now just to get that unlocked. Boom. Kurt leaves himself a five-star rating and a humble $2 tip. Usually I do something kind of in the middle. Next up, Kurt starts blasting his whack music, then picks up another passenger, Mario. I made this song, bro. Doesn't it slap? No. Wait, is that Tom Cruise? Am I crazy? Anyway, Mario is in quite the rush as he has a lady waiting for him. Though, this is a spree social ride and Kurt just got another victim. I'm, I mean, passenger. The pair head off to pick up Jessie, but she's immediately turned off by the deafening music and Tom Cruise lookalike. She cancels her ride, but Kurt insists. It's on the house, hop in. She reluctantly accepts, but quickly learns to regret it. Mario starts putting the moves on her, but she's absolutely not interested. Then, he realizes something. Wait, you're that comedian lady, Jessie Adams. Kurt's cloud senses begin to tingle as Mario exclaims, She's famous, bro. She's got like 200,000 followers. Oh, Sam. Kurt responds, You yeah, know, I'm, I'm something, something of an influencer myself. Maybe we could follow for follow? I'm Kurt's World 96. Uh, no thanks, Kurt's World. Suddenly, Mario whips out his phone and starts recording Jessie, prompting her to counter with her own stream. This absolute creep is nagging me. Then, Kurt chimes in and plugs his socials. In a last ditch effort to protect his ego, Mario hurls profanities at Jessie. Things quickly escalate and she decides she's better off walking. Despite Kurt's protests, Jessie takes a water for her troubles and heads out. Whew, close call. Mario checks Jessie's story to see the absolute fool he made of himself. He begins to feel ill and Kurt takes him on a shortcut. His condition worsens and he steps out to puke. Then, Kurt lines up his sights and blasts off. Night falls and Kurt flips on his gamer lights before checking out Jessie's Insta. Turns out she's doing a big show tonight. It's funny how the stars will align like that. Later, Kurt fills up on gas while Bobby continues to clown his stream. Damn, he's gotta do my mans like that. Despite a police officer standing just a few feet away, Kurt says, Dude, I'm literally like live killing people. Why am I not going viral yet? Bobby gives him some constructive criticism in the comments. Kurt counters, boasting that his content is authentic, just like Homeless Hero, one of Bobby's big viral hits. Drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Well, you heard the man. Bobby roasts Kurt for thinking it's real and gives him one final chance to prove him wrong. If he passes, Bobby will promote his stream. Bet. Kurt picks up a dripped out trio looking for some adventures to post on the gram. He offers to take them to a cool little spot with an amazing view. Once they get there, he pops open the roof and two of them peek their heads out. As they drive through the abandoned lot, the peeking pair notes the rather odd smell in the air. Ew, it smells like a few people died out here. <laughs> Suddenly, Kurt begins to accelerate towards a clearance bar. <laughs> I'm disappointed now. He continues forward, then closes the roof, trapping the sightseers above. <laughs> Kurt flashes a cheeky glance at one of the cameras, and then two dogs rush up on the car and go to town. Meanwhile, <laughs> later at a car wash, Kurt excitedly calls Bobby and asks if he just saw the crazy triple kill he just got. To which Bobby responds, 
Well, if a tree falls in the woods and no one sees it. Like, does it even actually fall, dude? No. Bobby suggests he takes a look at that comedian girl's content to see how things are actually done. Kurt scrolls through a few of her clips then offers up some criticism. Um, she doesn't even film her stories vertical. Suddenly, Jesse goes live and is filming vertically. Ah, that's totally inconsistent. And everyone knows that consistency is the number one ground rule that you must follow. Jesse streams a little chat with her quirky grandma and Kurt hates it. This isn't relatable at all. My grandma's dead. As Kurt sits there, envious of Jesse's viewership, he pulls into an unknown house and states, I'm gonna make things fair. Me? Who the? Jesse heads downstairs and investigates. Your chariot awaits. Wait, what? Kurt's at Bobby's house and some dork, Miles, is here to pick up Jesse. Kurt confronts Bobby for not coming through with his promise to promote the lesson. Bro, get out of here. No. When Kurt refuses to leave, Bobby does him dirty. What is up? He flips on his obnoxious YouTuber personality, relatable, and roasts the living shit out of Kurt. This goofball used to babysit me when I was like two, and now he thinks I owe him something. Come on, Bobby, I have something important to tell the stream. I figured out the final steps of the lesson. Step one, hijack Jesse Adams' comedy show, and step two. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I think you have the order messed up, but I appreciate the sentiment. While reaching for a gun, Bobby screams, It's not supposed to be real, you idiot! And those would forever be his final words. The stream erupts with incredulous comments as Kurt overpowers and finishes off the kid he used to babysit, Dark. You got God. Meanwhile, Jesse heads to the show with Creepy Miles. He reaches out to cop a feel and lets her know that he has connections. We come back to Kurt, who's taking a celebratory shower. Oh, what? You guys! Then, Kurt begins to pan the camera downward. No, stop! Psych. He exits the shower, finds Bobby's laptop, and redirects the stream to his. Hey, base campers, I know you must be confused, but that's chill. This is the Kurt's World Takeover. Nearly 5,000 viewers are tuning in to Kurt's plan to kill Jesse Adams. Though, his dad keeps blowing up his phone. Did I mention he's a DJ? Yeah, apparently tonight he's the opening act for DJ Uno. The chat erupts. They love DJ Uno. Screw it, let's go. Kurt picks up his dad, Chris, and bullies him a bit. I guess the cloud is starting to get to his head. Chris hints that he might be able to get Uno to tag him on her story if he plays nice. They arrive to the less than seller location and greet DJ Uno. A very pushy Kurt makes his request and she pretends to go along. Um, actually, haven't got that notification yet, but I'll be sure to let you know when it comes through. When Kurt doesn't get his way, he rubs in anger and storms off. He berates his viewers for making him do this stupid little side mission, but then suddenly, Uno comes back. She agrees to tag him, but only if he feeds her. Bet. But first, some pictures. She really do be looking like them Japanese cartoon characters. Kurt waits in line and gets all creepy with this chick. Meanwhile, Uno poses with the blicky. All the waiting makes her thirsty, so she has a sip of Kurt's special water. By the time he returns with the food, she's long gone. A couple officers grow curious and check things out. Kurt's acting awfully sus, so they give him a field sobriety test. Then, Uno wakes up. She guns down an officer, then runs off. Kurt counts his blessings and speeds away. A chase ensues, and as Kurt drives into oncoming traffic, we see that news of the rideshare killer is already spreading like wildfire. He ends up under a bridge populated by the homeless and remarks, Pathetic. They have absolutely no social media presence. He proceeds to drive through their tents before stating he feels... He'll walk that off. We cut to the opening act of Jesse's show. Poor Miles is giving it his all, but everyone's there for her. Where's Jesse? All right, okay. It's time for the amazing, the sexy, Jesse Adams. To add insult to injury, Jesse starts off her set by roasting him. That means a lot coming from a guy whose ideal woman is a body pillow. Hey, don't talk to my viewers like that. We also see that Kurt is alive and well in the audience. To his surprise, Jesse starts talking about the ride they had. There was this jerk nagging me, and don't even get me started on the cringy driver. He was begging me to follow him, and enraged Kurt takes aim as the chat spurs him on. Though, Jesse Spiel takes a turn for the wholesome when she remarks that once upon a time, she was just like him. Kurt's rage settles and he begins to listen intently. Jesse proceeds to rant about cloud chasing and the hold social media has on our lives. Y'all are obsessed with other people's business. The room goes silent and Jesse wraps things up with a pledge to quit social media. The crowd erupts with applause as she smashes her phone to pieces. Kurt is shook. Jesse rushes backstage and Miles follows suit, documenting the iconic moment. Meanwhile, we learn that Spree has temporarily shut down in response to Kurt's adventures. So, he gets a ride with Gogo instead. Oh, you have a dash cam set up. Kurt slowly reaches into his bag, then pulls out. Yeah, I got one too. Oh, the pair have a laugh and the driver assures Kurt that he's not the crazy maniac going around tonight. <laughs> we come back to Jesse and Miles. He gets her drunk and he seems to be moments away from closing the deal. She suggests they get a ride back home to her place. Heck yeah. Miles orders the ride, and as it arrives, Jesse sneakily heads out without him. As fate would have it, her driver is Kurt. R.I.P. to that guy. He reminds her of who he is, then commends her amazing performance tonight. 
He really vibed with her message about love, so much so that he enters an endless rant about it. He even suggests that they could be a power couple and leak a YouTube tape. Uh, no thanks. Where the hell are you taking me? Relax, I'm taking you home. This is not the way to my home. Oh no, not your home. My home. The severity of the situation sets in as Jesse slowly clutches her charger. <gasps> Jesse puts in a good fight, but Kurt ultimately overpowers her. After arriving at his place, he drags her out back, then pulls the live stream on what to do next. Sorry, Jesse. Kurt begins to back up, but keeps knocking the phone down. If the audience doesn't see it happen, then it doesn't count. Fortunately, this buys Jesse just enough time to vanish. The absolute doofus Kurt exits the car, and your car is mine now. Even the chat saw this one coming. Though, instead of just leaving, Jesse decides to harness her inner GTA. Run. But she ends up crashing into his house instead. Whoa, that's spooky. Jesse counters with a slashing strike. Effective. She exits the car, but thoughtfully picks up Kurt's phone. The show must go on. She runs into his dad, who's off his rocker, and then his dead mom. Yeah, it turns out he iced her way back in the beginning. Kurt re-emerges and blasts his dad before setting his sights on Jesse, who's back in the car. She seizes the moment and rams Kurt into the wall. It's over, right? She finishes him off with the very phone he was streaming with. Poetic. The chat dares her to take a selfie with him and she surprisingly goes along with it. And of course, she posts it to social media. As the film ends, we see that Jesse's fame has skyrocketed. And as far as Kurt, he finally got the killer viral hit he was looking for. People cannot stop talking about him. That's why you will subscribe. How many times does he have to tell you? 